Okay, so if you remember, I ran a feed and speed test uh, to maximize my chip load uh, when I got my Sharp. I'm going to perform the same test on the Axiom. Uh, I know the Axiom uh, can easily run 150 inches a minute, so they say. So let's test that out. I've got five different 60-degree uh, V-bit tool paths that I'm going to run, and I have six quarter-inch end mill tool paths that I'm going to run. So we're going to run these, and each of these are going to be at various uh, feed rates. Because the idea is you want to maximize your, your feed rate and your RPM so that it, it properly matches your chip load uh, recommendation from the bit manufacturer. All the manufacturers of router bits will have those chip loads available. So you want to be able to, to, to meet those chip loads because if you're, going, if you're creating chips too small, it creates dust. And you can check out my previous video there and you can see kind of what I did with the Sharp. Well, I'm going to do the same thing here. So hold tight and we will run these tool paths and we will dial in uh, what my Axiom can do. Safely, properly, minimize chatter, maximize bit life, and minimize the, uh, the, the stress on the machine. So let's see what we have come up with. Hold tight. All right, so I have my piece of red oak stain general finishes Java. Same as the other. I have the Amana 60 degree V bit spectra coded 45624-K. Ran my variety of tool paths. Wasn't going to go in depth. If you want to see that, check out the other video. But for here, just wanted to give you an idea of kind of what I ran just so you can see the test was performed the same way as the other. Ran a variety of different tool paths just to see what each one would do. Here I'm using the V-bit to go ahead and write down the text that I'm using for each different pass. And you can see that V-bit does really well uh, knocking out that real tiny text. I should have adjusted the file and made that a little bigger like the other, but here we are and that's what we have. But it did a fantastic job. And now we're going to set the zero for the 46202-K Amana Spectra Coated Down Cut Bit. And I didn't take the time to run these slowly. I went ahead and sped that up just to get that out of your way. And as you can see, the cut is fantastic. My cuts range from 40 inches a minute all the way up to a whopping 100 inches a minute, all at 18,000 RPM. And as you can see, the cut quality is clean on all of them. The 100 inches a minute and 80 both did very well, and I think for normal straight lines, that's where I'll go. If I have to do V-carve, I may lo slow that down slightly, but for the most part, that is it. For the quarter inch end mill, ranged anywhere from 50 inches a minute to a, an amazing 140 inches a minute. No way I could have ever gotten that on the Shark. However, the Axiom did just fine. The 140 and 120 were both fantastic cuts, very good quality, and I have no doubt that will be used in the future. So there you go, the feed and speed test on the Axiom AR8 Pro V5.